Is your irregular bedtime silently raising your risk for Parkinson's, diabetes, and even liver damage? Welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. Stay informed with quick, easy to listen summaries of our latest articles, perfect for when you're on the go. No reading required. Subscribe for free at Mercola.com for the latest health insights. Hello, and welcome to Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. I'm Ethan Foster. Today you'll learn why keeping a steady sleep rhythm may matter more than hitting a target number of hours. What a large accelerometer study found about 172 diseases linked to poor sleep traits and which simple actions you can take tonight to lower risk driven by inflammation and circadian disruption. I'm Alara Skye. We're focusing on objective data. Nearly seven years of follow-up in 88,461 adults, which showed that unstable sleep rhythm, late bedtimes, short duration, and fragmented nights are tied to problems across your brain, liver, kidneys, lungs, metabolism, and bones. The takeaway is direct. When your sleep pattern is off, the downstream health cost is broad and measurable. Most people assume you're safe if you log enough hours, but rhythm and timing carried heavier weight. Nearly half of the disease links tracked back to rhythm, how consistently you keep a regular bedtime and wake time. For example, going to sleep after 12.30 a.m., more than doubled risk for liver fibrosis and cirrhosis compared with settling around 11 p.m. Consistency was protective, Instability raised risks for conditions including gangrene and diabetes. The scale of risk surprised even seasoned researchers. 42 diseases showed more than double the risk in people with the worst sleep traits. 92 diseases had more than 20% of their overall burden attributable to poor sleep. Parkinson's disease had 37% of its risk tied to poor rhythm, and type 2 diabetes had 36% linked to irregular patterns. Acute kidney failure showed 22% attributable to disrupted traits. Another important insight was how often self-reports get sleep wrong. When people labeled themselves long sleepers, about 22% actually slept fewer than six hours when tracked objectively. Earlier studies that relied on memory likely misclassified people and falsely blamed long sleep for problems like heart disease and depression. With real measurements, those associations faded. Risk levels were comparable to other well-known exposures. Disrupted rhythm accounted for 13.7% of ischemic heart disease, similar to smoking's contribution, while Parkinson's disease risk was 31% attributable to poor rhythm, higher than the estimated 23% from pesticide exposure. That puts your nightly schedule in the same conversation as diet, toxins, and exercise when it comes to prevention. Different sleep traits hit different systems. Too little sleep correlated with fractures and urinary incontinence. Fragmentation, waking often through the night, was linked to nearly double the risk of respiratory failure. Unstable rhythms tripled the risk for age-related physical decline. Even sleeping fewer than six hours raised rib and spinal fracture risk by 60%, a practical concern for independence as you age. Inflammation helps explain why disrupted sleep ripples through so many conditions. Higher inflammatory markers mediated the relationship between poor sleep traits and disease. When your rhythm is irregular or you push sleep late into the night, you nudge your physiology toward a chronic inflammatory state that wears on organs over time. Stabilizing sleep cools that signal and reduces cumulative damage. You can take control with straightforward changes. First, keep a steady bedtime and wake-up schedule. Pick a time you can maintain, ideally before midnight, and hold it seven days a week. The study's data showed rhythm mattered most, and you move risk in the right direction as soon as your pattern stops drifting. Second, avoid late night light exposure. Light in the evening, especially from phones, TVs, and computers, tells your brain it's daytime and disrupts melatonin. Dim your home at sunset, shut down screens at least an hour before bed, and let darkness cue deep sleep. If reading, use warmer, lower intensity light to prevent a late cortisol bump that fragments the night. Third, stop eating late at night. If you push dinner to 9 or 10 p.m., you force digestion when your body should be repairing. Make your last meal at least three hours before bed. That simple shift supports circadian alignment, lowers inflammatory signaling, and improves overnight restoration. Fourth, engineer a dark, cool, and quiet bedroom to cut fragmentation. Blackout curtains, an eye mask, a cooler room, 
and noise control pay off because even brief wake-ups interrupt repair. If you live in a noisy area, earplugs are a practical addition. Reducing those micro-arousals helps protect your lungs and broader physiology from the risks tied to broken sleep. Fifth, cut electromagnetic clutter in your sleep space. Move your phone out of the bedroom or use airplane mode. Unplug chargers near the bed and shut down your Wi-Fi router overnight. If you want a deeper reset, flip off the bedroom circuit breaker before sleep. A cleaner electrical environment helps your nervous system settle, making it easier to achieve consolidated, restorative rest. If you like checklists, translate this into tonight's plan. Choose a consistent lights out time before midnight. Set your last meal three hours earlier. Dim lights and close screens one hour before bed. Cool and darken your room. And remove or silence electronics. You don't need a wearable to start, but if you do track, aim for fewer awakenings and a stable midpoint of sleep across the week. When you evaluate progress, don't focus only on duration. Ask whether your rhythm is steady, your sleep midpoint is earlier, and your night is less fragmented. Those are the traits most tightly tied to lower risk for neurological and metabolic disease in the data. Small day-to-day -day wins compound into meaningful risk reduction over months and years. Let's end with a practical challenge. Over the next seven nights, anchor your bedtime and wake time within a 30-minute window, finish dinner at least three hours before bed, and eliminate screens in the final hour. Remove EMF sources from your bedroom and aim for a cooler, darker sleep environment. You'll feel the difference quickly, and you'll be investing in long-term protection identified clearly in the research. Thank you for watching Dr. Mercola's Cellular Wisdom. We'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for watching. Subscribe now and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. See you in the next video.